author of the book, The Hardest Job in the World, Mr. John Dickerson of CBS News. John, um, the general election feels like it really began tonight. This was the starting gun. Biden went up there and framed his opponent in a certain way and said, these are the things that are challenging in America, but framed his opponent as one of those great challenges for America. Um, you recently gave a speech at Harvard that argued that press coverage of presidential campaigns is, quote, too distant from the office of the presidency. What do you mean by that? I mean, what does the job require? What does it mean day to day? And that means two things. What does it mean in terms of the attributes of the person in the office? What do they need? What, what does character mean? What does temperament mean? What does restraint mean? What are the component qualities you need to be a good president? And then what do they do all day? And let's reverse engineer the way we talk about campaigns by looking at what they actually do instead of the way we talk about the presidency and campaigns, which is as some superhero office where with a stirring tweet, you can fix an incredibly complex problem. Um, so it's whenever we get lost in the polls or in the shiny object of the moment, just keep thinking, no, actually, what is this person going to be like in the office and what are the presidential questions in this moment? And, and just stay focused on the office. What do they do all day? <laughs> You know what, they mostly deal, and this is another, this is one of the ways you can do it. They deal with foreign policy. They deal with national security. They deal with secrets we don't know anything about. They deal with the terror, real fear that there's gonna be a, a cyber attack on infrastructure. Stuff they can't even talk about out loud because it would freak everybody out. But in the campaigns, we don't talk about that stuff much. You know, we talk about, well, all kinds of crazy things. They spend most of their day on the phone with foreign leaders. Um, you know, tied down with, with foreign policy because, as Kennedy said, domestic policy can get us unelected. Foreign policy can get us killed. Um, we have heard Joe Biden's take on the State of Our Union. Let's get, let's get John Dickerson's State of Our Union. And, and, and I'll frame it in this way. After uh, Donald Trump won out in 2020, and said, no, I won, this is all a fraud, and they stopped counting ballots. You talked about burning the Democratic furniture, and that how he is burning the Democratic furniture, and it's up to his allies in the Republican Party to stop him from doing that, because there'll be a price to be paid. How is the state of burning our Democratic furniture right now? Well, yeah, and the, the idea was, if he says this, there's gonna be, but what burning Democratic furniture meant is violence. There will be, and that's what we had. I think the fact that they have renominated somebody who continues to believe falsely, obviously, it's a lie, that he, that he won in 2020, that is putting all the same negative energy, a lot of like gasoline on the floor. So the danger is, is there. What's good about the Democratic furniture is that people held the line and the last election, it happened, and a peaceful transfer of power happened. But all those same threats are, are alive again because the nominee of the party continues to hold those beliefs. And that violence is still out there. And lawmakers get threatened and so it's, we're still in a very tense moment. Uh, give the speech a grade? I'm going to treat, treat that as a rhetorical question. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> John Dickerson, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by De La Soul.